Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Last uh, episode we got the battery all together. Uh, I'm going to spare you me putting it back in the bike and hooking up the controller and all that. We're just going to get right to getting the bike to work through the settings. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so just a couple things to check before you plug it in. I had this problem with mine. Uh, if you open it up and look inside here, um, right on the outside of the USB where the uh, ground posts go in, uh, it wasn't soldered at all. So uh, right here on these two points, it had uh, ripped out of the board and almost pulled all the pins right out. So just want to check that and resolder it if it needs it. Just touch it back up and then put it back in its case. And then I'm just going to tape mine up with some electrical tape so it doesn't come back apart. Okay, so you don't need the positive. That's why it's not hooked up. And uh, if you look at the other end, the end that comes out of the controller, uh, this is just an extra cord I have. But as you can see, it's got a black, a blue, and an orange wire. Now, the blue and the orange wire are backwards. I don't know why they did this, but uh, it's easy to switch. You just take something like a knife or a pen or something, and right there you see there's uh, these little tabs. you got to push those tabs in, and then you can pull the cables out. So, you push the tabs in, you pull the cables out, do it with the other one. Push the tab in. And then the wire will come out. Once you've got the wire out, you're going to want to take like a knife or something and just push those tabs back out where they were so that it will click back in when you put the wires back in. So make sure to check the orientation. Make sure you don't put the wires back where you took them out of. You want to put the orange one where the blue one was and the blue one where the orange one was. And there we go. A few moments later. Okay, guys, I'm out here at the bike. I've got it plugged in. Now what you want to do, we're going to drop you down. All the software is in a link. Uh, just download it, and then once you have it downloaded, uh, you just want to install the prolific driver here. It's fairly simple, straightforward. So there we go. So that's finished. And you can go down to start and what you want to do is search for and open up device manager. And then go ahead and plug your USB device into the laptop. Okay, you'll see it down here. It says ports, COM, LTP. Open that up, and there it is. Prolific USB to serial COM port on COM4. This device is working properly. So now we open up our EM software, and we change the COM to COM4, and then click Open. We connect, and then we click Connect to the bike, and there we go. We're connected. Now, these are all the uh, parameters that I have set up in my bike right now. Um, there's page one, there's page two, there's page three. Now, on uh, your controller, when you first install it, uh, it is set to park. So, I've already taken that off on my bike. I think it's PC14. You just want to set it to F and set it to empty function so that the park disengages. Let's just import our parameter here.
Once you write the parameter, you'll notice on the display that the controller shows a controller failure. That's normal. It just means it needs to be reset. So shut your bike off for a second, you know, count to five, whatever, and then turn it back on. And there you go. You'll notice that the controller failure has disappeared and uh, everything is good to go. So you just save your parameters. And that's pretty much it, guys. Okay, guys. Parameters are all set. Bike's alive. Yep, we're good. Okay, guys, I hope I made everything clear there. Well, the bike does work. Everything worked well once you get it all set up and the wires switched and all the parameters. And don't forget your COM port. You got to have the right COM port or it's not going to connect. But without further ado, let's take it out on a ride.
Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more great videos, you can always watch this one right here. And don't forget to subscribe. Catch you on the next one.